Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I just wanted to show a quick, easy way that you can reduce some garbage allocation just by using structs instead of classes in some cases. So here I've set up a basic health script. This is just something that you could see on a normal character, although it has a little bit of extra debugging stuff and three different ways to deal with updating the health. So we've got an int for the current health, um, a float, this is for our debugging here, and then a max value, so our default max value is 1000 health. And then we have another debug thing, which is our tick rate. So what's gonna happen here is, in the update method, we just call take damage, and we tell this health to take damage. So you'd imagine this is like your character takes some damage and then sends out an update to update UI components, maybe plays other things, plays an impact particle, an impact animation, something like that, right? So in our take damage method, we have a call right here to just reduce the current health by one, so current minus minus, and then we calculate out a percent. We don't actually even calculate it out. Let's just do that current divided by max, and we'll cast these as floats. Oh, float, not floats. There we go. So we calculate out the health, and then we, um, we send the event to notify other objects that are listening that this health has changed. So in our example, we're going to use a mock health bar, but you could use, you know, you could have any other number of things registering for these health changed events. And we do it three different ways. We send it with a struct, with a class, and with separate parameters. So let me look at the separate parameters one first. So here you see we just call on damage took separate. That's just the name of this action here and we pass in current, max, the damage, and the percent. Let's take a quick look at that. Here are the actions. These are in a terrible place, by the way. These should really be at the top of the class, so I'm just gonna move them up there. Get these where they belong. No reason to have ugly code even in a sample. So we, here again we have int, 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 and float. So current, max, delta, that's how much damage we lost, or health we lost or gained, and the percent. Then we also have methods for calling it with a struct and with a class. So this one I think is pretty obvious how it works, but it's kind of ugly because we have four variables there. If we look at the class one, you see we just have a current, a max, a delta, and a percent. And now that kind of cleans it up a bit so that when we look at this code on the other end, so say I go into my health bar right here, and when it's registering for this event, now it gets an info object and that info has all of the data on it in specific fields. Now the problem here is that this class is going to generate some garbage. So let's just jump over and hit play and see what happens. So here we'll see the health just kind of tick. Actually you may not see it at all. But in the profiler we'll see exactly what happens. Here actually let's switch this to debug. And now you'll see the health is um, going down. It's gone down like 700 already. Nice and quick. And let's take a look at the garbage collection allocations here. So if we expand out script run behavior update, and I do have deep profile on, you'll need that for this to be able to see this. And we keep expanding out, go down to take damage. If you look at the send event with class, it's allocating 32 bytes every time. Now for a single call, it may not matter. But if it's in something that's getting called a lot, like health changes, it can add up quick and then start cause garbage collection and kill your performance. Now the separate parameters one, as you would expect, generates no garbage, but also the one with a struct generates no garbage. So I guess the key point here is if you can use a struct to store your data when you're passing it around like this, definitely do. There are very, very few cases where that won't work. I would say in general, if you're passing data around, use a struct. And if you're just storing data on a class, now consider like will this work fine with a struct as well as it may help you out a little bit and avoid some problems in the future so key point use a struct to pass your data around instead of a class and if you're using you know passing in events like this it's a whole lot nicer and a whole lot cleaner to have access to an object like this so i can do info dot max you know i could have like string let's say i want to do a debug log be a really terrible use for this, but you do you know, some like string dot format uh, zero of one, and I can do info dot current comma info dot max, and have it a little bit more structured than arg one, arg two, arg three, arg four, where I have to go in and then 
manually change these to be current and I think it was max and delta and PCT. So having it like this, it works, but I don't like it. It's ugly, too many parameters. Having it like this with the struct, much better. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. If you like this video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. And if you have questions about this or any other Unity related questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. Thanks for watching.